Welcome back to Golf Extra. It's fair to say that a lot of players on both sides of professional golf weren't happy about the merger agreement between Live Golf and the PGA Tour that was announced in early June 2023. Few of those players have made public declarations against the PGA Tour, with most of their opinions being kept under wraps. At least one player, though, has unleashed his opinions in a public setting, and he didn't pull any punches. Don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe for more videos just like this one. Now let's get right into Ernie L's recent comments blasting the PGA Tour. Ernie Els has been a professional golfer since 1989, and he's had a very successful career. Nicknamed the Big Easy, Els has 75 professional wins, including four major championships. He was even the world's number one ranked golfer for nine weeks and was a frequent also ran to Tiger Woods during Woods' heyday. He's also been a loyalist to the PGA Tour, resisting overtures to rival organizations including Liv. There was even another tour that courted Els back in the early days of his career, the World Golf Tour, perhaps not coincidentally organized by current Liv executive Greg Norman. Remembering that pursuit, in a recent interview, Norman said, I was 24 at the time. He called me in Japan at the Dunlop Phoenix tournament. He asked me, are you coming? I said, I can't do it. I want to play major golf. I was just starting out. I said no, and I probably would have done the same today. We all look like idiots now. Now, there is a new organization in Live Golf doing much the same thing that the World Golf Tour was once trying to do, pull golfers away from the PGA Tour and into the sphere of a new organization. After his opening round at the Open Championship, Els shared his thoughts on the potential merger between Liv and the PGA, and they weren't necessarily positive. He started out by saying, in reference to Jay Monahan's future at the PGA Tour, if this merger agreement happened in my day, in my prime, there's no way he's around, no way, and the board has to change. You do stuff like this, I'm sorry, it's not right. Talk to us, tell us what you're going to do, plan on negotiating. Don't just go rogue as a member of the board and come back with a deal and think we're all going to say yes. You're affecting people's lives. You're affecting the professional game. It's just so bad. Els continued by saying, and for these guys, the PGA Tour leadership, to go out there and do what they did just off the cuff as a board member, do a deal nobody knows. The commissioner is supposed to be the guy running our tour. These board members make a deal or a so-called deal with no input from the players. It's absolute shambles. I'm worried. Wow, those are some serious opinions coming from the Big Easy. He didn't just have strong words for the PGA Tour, though. He also had strong words about Liv itself, saying, I know Yasser al Ramayan, head of the Saudi Public Investment Fund. I know some of those Saudi guys. They love the game. But this Liv is circus golf. That's not where I stand. Team golf doesn't work. It works maybe in a two-month, three-month happy season. Get these guys together, get teams together and play around the world, but then play real golf. That's what this thing is all about. That's what I prided myself on. Like Tiger Woods and some of these guys, playing that type of golf, getting yourself into majors and grinding. It seems that L shares many of the same sentiments with Tiger Woods regarding Liv's brand of golf, but he also seems to see Liv as a viable opportunity for a shorter period of the year, something that the PGA Tour also purports to agree with. The seemingly intuitive Els also talked more about the plans of the Saudi Arabian government in his comments, saying, Listen, they want to do a lot of things in Saudi. They've got sport coming. Whatever you've seen in Dubai, Abu Dhabi, and Qatar, they're doing it on a bigger scale than that. So they want to set all these things up. Formula One, golf, tennis, boxing, all this stuff. They want to become bigger. And Yasser wants to be ahead of that. Do we play ball with them? Does he come in at a different rate? Maybe a smaller investment? See if they are the right partner? Not just come in and take over world golf. That's just ridiculous. Need to slow things down. Els also added to that same effect. I think Yasser needs to come out and say what he's thinking. He's going to be chairman of this new co-chairman of the board. Whoever is the commissioner, whoever is left, they're going to be answering to him. I don't know how the hell they can't see that. Els did give some advice for the future of the agreement, saying, I think they, the PGA Tour, need to cut a deal. And Saudi comes in and invests in the tour. They can bring a lot of money to the tour. Hopefully all of that money flows down to people who got burned by this. Finally, Els concluded in his comments with a fiery rebuttal of the influence of Live Golf on the future of professional golf, saying, I spent almost 30 years on tour playing against Tiger. People don't mention me, but I was there. He needed somebody to beat. There's a lot of guys who did a lot for this tour. They helped the tour and helped the tour and helped build the game. Are you kidding me? And then this. Els is far from the only one who had criticisms of the PGA Tour deal, but he did probably have the strongest opinions of anyone. With that being said, some other professional golfers have certainly spoken out, including Xander Shoffley, 
who said about Monaghan's imminent return from a health-related absence, I'd say he has a lot of tough questions to answer in his return. I don't trust easily. He had my trust, and he has a lot less of it now. I don't stand alone when I say that. He'll have to answer a lot of tough questions when he comes back. Jordan Spieth added in recent comments regarding the merger agreement, I think if there's any disagreements, it won't work. Honestly, we're very much in the dark on it. I don't sit on the board and I'm not on the PAC, Player Advisory Council, either. You talk to a lot of other players, it's been quite a shock from the get-go. I wouldn't say that there's enough details to be able to really comment much on any concerns because, like, if I, if you ask me about something specifically, I could say I saw that somewhere and I saw that somewhere else that it wasn't part of it. So, I really don't know. Scotty Scheffler also had concerns, citing the lack of involvement of the PGA Tour players in the development of the agreement. It really is kind of that cycle where it's just a framework agreement, and I don't know what that entails. We are not involved in any of the discussions. Should I have been? Probably not. But I'm sure that a few of our player members should have been involved. Finally, Spanish star John Rahm, who was rumored to have interest in Liv prior to the announcement of the merger, commented about the agreement and Jay Monahan's involvement in it. As it comes to what he's been doing for us in the PGA Tour, I think he's done a fantastic job. I would say it was unexpected what happened. I think what the management of the PGA Tour, the turn that they took without us knowing, was very unexpected. But I still think he's been doing a great job. And right now, after that happened, I only think it's fair to give them the right time to work things out. I still think they have the best interest of the players at heart. All we have right now, it's a framework agreement. It's an agreement to have an agreement. We really don't have anything right now to be able to say or judge what they've done. So, while Els is far from the only one to express negative sentiments about the deal, his seismic intensity in his comments coupled with his strong standing in the golf community could very well have a high degree of impact on the future of the deal. So, what do you think about Ernie Els' recent comments? Do you think he's right? Be sure to leave us a comment with what you think down below. Make sure you like, subscribe, and turn on post notifications so you can watch our latest content updates as soon as they drop. We'll catch you in the next one. Have a great day.